because life is lifing. Life is lifing, and I can't. I can't do nothing about it. Hello, you guys. Hello. On my way to Target this morning. I had to get a couple of things that I really forgot to get last time I went to Target because I was too busy <laughs> looking at the clothes and stuff. One of the other moms, I pulled up behind her to drop Macy off, and we were like two minutes late. And she was like, oh, I'm not the only one here. I said, girl, you ain't the only one. <laughs> she was like, oh, that's the only one. And you know how you have to fill out the reason of being late? She put toddlers. <laughs> I know that's right because like for real sometimes these teachers like most of them don't have kids I, I know they don't like most of these teachers do not have kids and so they just deal with our kids they teach our kids but they don't have kids so they be judging I feel like when we don't get our kids to school on time or when we're a little late and I'm just like y'all got the easy part y'all y'all don't have to deal because i swear toddlers are the grumpiest in the morning but yeah i was laughing so bad and then the teacher was not laughing at all she was like she just had a stank look on her face like that's not an excuse like she wanted to say something and i i thought i never wanted to live in somebody's head so bad because i wanted her to say all that she had to say because uh, don't even talk to me don't talk to me don't 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 do it both mommies gonna gang up on you <laughs> so i'm joking but anyways, I don't know what it is, but my allergies are flaring up today, honey. My nose, all this is probably red and it is so itchy. Yo, look at the slides. Like, these are like lime green, kind of. Look at the polka dot ones. And then the pink ones. These are only 15 bucks to, literally 15 bucks for Cat and Jack. I wanted to get these two. And then I found these. Oh my gosh. How cute are these glitter slip ons? Listen, I'm all about something really cute for the kids. Cat and Jack. Oh. Oh, look at this shirt. Oh, I'm gonna have this shirt. How cute are these? Oh, they have all the beach stuff out. Spring break is coming up, and I want to go on a vacation real quick. Nothing like too big because we've done Disney and everything, but I want to. I still want to go somewhere. I still want to go somewhere. But yeah, I I, I do want to do like a spring break somewhere, somewhere quick, and that's the, like the only place I could think of was like Florida. I need free time, so I want to make a salad. Do I have? Oh. Three times I want to make a salad. Back home, I made it home. I ended up finding these cups. This pillow for a drinkware set. It's four cups, two, wait, four, oh, four, six cups, six lids, and six straws. Macy's cup is so old. It's from like Halloween. So this was eight bucks. She needed some cups. Let me see. Well, no, I'm not opening it. That's a little open, whatever. I ended up finding this set. It kind of matches. It's 24 pieces. This is 24 pieces. Then a dishwasher and microwave safe from Pillow Fort as well. All the plates and then the matching bowls and the forks and spoons. So I thought that was really good for $8. That's really good. So these two. Um, I got some spray, which is weird because I got peach. This smells so good though. It's limited edition springtime scent. This is bomb. This smells so good. I'm gonna spray the house after I clean it because I'm about to clean it. And then I found this dispenser for the girls' bathroom because I don't know where their soap dispenser went. I have no idea where it went. So I, they need a new one. This is like $5, so cheap. So 
buy that for their bathroom because the rest of their stuff is gold, but I just don't know where the like pump went. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. My camera's supposed to die. Okay, so, and then I found these Gabby Dollhouse pajamas. Macy loves Gabby Dollhouse, and they were her size, sporty. Like, so cute. Look at this, so cute. So, I got these for Macy because, like I said, she loves Gabby Dollhouse. And then, I didn't find much clothes in her size as y'all was, like, seeing me in the store. I recorded, like, there was hardly no sizes for, like, stuff in her size. There was a lot of, Stuff that was cute, but not in her size. So I'm gonna try Old Navy. And I heard Walmart also has like a new line that's cute that I've seen before. But I just got her some, you know, jeggings. I like simple, cute stuff for school. That's just, I'm always gonna go for like simple Cat and Jack stuff for school because they be getting dirty, so whatever. And then I did end up getting this shirt. Oh my gosh, glowing and growing. All the different black girls. Oh, that is so cute. I absolutely love this shirt. I don't know what made Cat and Jack, you know, come out with this, but I think it's so cute. I think that is so cute. And then I got this shirt, you know, just something, just something to start her little spring collection. Um, and then I got her two pairs of shoes. I got these like, <laughs> These little watermelon shoes, I think they're so cute. That's the true color of them, they're dark. They're like a dark watermelon pink. Oh my gosh, and they have the Velcro straps. These are so convenient. Macy's gonna love just sliding her feet into these and walking, like, they're so convenient. Super cute, like I said, they're only 15 bucks. I love these. So I got her those, and then, uh, I went against my better judgment and got some white shoes but they're so cute like look at them i don't know if y'all can see but look at the glitter <laughs> so cute these were only 16.99 literally 16.99 okay i'm gonna get her some bands and stuff because i i love um just buying bands for her but look at how glittery they are oh my gosh so cute look at them so cute, so I got her these for school. Or not for school, so I got her these to start her like spring shopping. Um, We're gonna finish, I'll like, I'll grab some more things like towards the end of March and stuff. Well not end of March, but next month I'll buy some more because she's gonna freaking, it's gonna be hot, so. The last thing I bought was this yellow rug. This I believe was, seven dollars it's just like this yellow bath mat from the room essentials to go in their bathroom because um the previous one was like dirt it was it had mold all in it i was like oh my gosh i was so grossed out i hate seeing mold that's like one of my pet peeves so i um threw that away it lasted a long time though it lasted like over a year i've had that it lasted over a year. Like I, I had that their previous bath mat I had for like two years, so it lasted a long time. But um, yeah, I just was like, it, it was coming unraveled, so I was like, I'm just gonna get them a new one. So yeah, I'm about to do my spring cleaning. Not spring cleaning. I'm about to do my weekly cleaning and cleansing my home. Um, I might record. I might not. I just like to get in there and start cleaning. So. If I remember to record, I'll record and play some jams for y'all, but I'm about to get to cleaning so that I can hurry up and not be cleaning all day. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready in my bedroom, so it's a different scenery because we're about to do my hair. And I'm recording, so I wanted to get the best lighting right now. It's about 12.30. Today is Tuesday, so happy Tuesday. Tomorrow's March 1st. I cannot wait because spring is springing, okay? Let me put y'all down some. I'm about to install my lovely clippings right here from Irresistible Me. Thank you so much to Irresistible Me for sponsoring today's video and sponsoring your girl. Thank you. Hair together. I did the braid down method because that's easier for me. I always braid down my hair um, when I'm doing clippings now and then I just leave. This is my leave out so I just leave that right there. And then we're about to install. All right, I installed the clippings. Y'all can see 
they're pretty long. They're 24 inches. I did cut them up some because like I wasn't caring about like keeping them the length that they came in. Um, I ordered shorter ones, but they didn't have the length I wanted and the style that I got, which is the extra volume. So I just cut them up a little bit, which is like I put layers in them and I did a deep side part. So but yeah, they came out really cute. They're really soft and really super soft and thick. So I will put the code right here on the screen for you guys. The link will be in my description box. Once again, this is Irresistibly Me Hair and I have their extra volume, straight clip-ins, jet black, 24 inches, girl, period. So my husband and I are supposed to go out to dinner. Today is Tuesday, so that has been like our designated date nights a week. Um, I'm not that hungry though. Well, now I'm not, I could be later, but I don't know, we might go out, we might not, I don't know, but we definitely have reservations. So my hair and makeup are all done. I just need to change my outfit once we get closer to the time because I think our reservations are at 6.30 like we normally do now. But yeah, let me clean up the room because I have hair everywhere because <laughs> I always cut it. So I have to like clean up the hair and then we'll just go get Macy from school. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm so extra when I get into the car. <laughs> like, I just be like, stepping on the ramp. I don't know why. But I feel like this car is so tall, so I still step on the ramp to get into my seat. <laughs> extra, maybe, I don't care. Um, And like, I keep y'all in my dashboard. I mean, I would put y'all, someone asked me about how my, um tripod is doing my dash mount and it's excellent i know you guys probably wouldn't tell because i don't use it like that i'm a little close i don't use it like that but that's because like it's this is way more accessible when i'm driving versus like you guys being in my uh cup holders accessible at times like when i want to just put the camera on real quick versus um you know versus like me putting on the dashboard if that makes sense but my dash mount is good i use it all the time like especially when we're having our like car jams i use the dash cam or dash mount or whatever it's called so i'm tired and i feel like i uh y'all creating content is underestimated because listen it's a lot of work that goes into it and it's so time consuming like so time consuming i just uh, i'm not gonna complain though not going to complain degrees outside it is beautiful ah oh, yes i'm gonna enjoy it while i can because i know we're getting rain for the next two days and it sucks when it be raining but i want this one okay you gotta Yummy, yummy, Got some donuts. <laughs> I ate off one, but it's a little tradition I like to get Macy after school. Some donuts. Okay. Morning. It's actually almost the afternoon. And I'm rushing because Huh? No, it's not cold. It's like check the weather on your phone. It's like 70. I can't I don't know exactly the thing, but it's on the phone. I got that quiet. Does y'all's husband or fiance, whatever, be asking what's the weather? And they got an iPhone too. I'm not superwoman. I know. 
I know I look like I'm Superwoman because I do multiple things at once. But I promise you, checking the weather is so easy. It's so easy. It's, it, it's easy. So anyways, I have to, um, I'm rushing because we have to go get a uh, dentist appointment. We have to go to the dentist. Macy has a dentist appointment and then our older daughter is getting her hair braided so we have to drop her off. It's just a lot going on. It was only half a day today so I'm, I don't, I'm not going to bring my kid from 8 to 12. I'm not going to do that. Like I, I'm going to not come at all and just bring her to the dentist's office to her appointment instead of like going, taking her to school, picking her back up, going to, I'm not doing all that. Yeah, sometimes I really don't know how I make it. Sometimes I really don't know how I can manage it. And then I'm not feeling well. Like, <sighs> well, we can't take a break. We can't take a break because we have stuff to do. Hot sauce goes back in the fridge. <sighs> Y'all, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. So we get to the dentist appointment, y'all. And they're talking about one parent at a time. No two parents in there. So my husband and I are looking like, ugh. And so I made him go in. Sure did. I filled out the paperwork. Listen, we are a team, okay? No grandma, no grandparents, no none of that out here. So we are a team. You go in, I do paperwork. <laughs> because my husband always passed me the paperwork. He always passed me the paperwork or whatever um, to fill out and do whatever. So I just do that part. And I'm like, well, shoot, if I'm doing the paperwork, you're going to go in. Because I feel like Macy does better with her dad anyway. Because I will be like, all right, all right, y'all, come on, cut it out. Like, if, my, if I see that Macy's uncomfortable, I'm going to want them to be, I'm going to want them to stop what they're doing. Even though I've worked at a dentist's office before and stuff like that like I, I know these people aren't hurting her but still I'd be like okay let's not do that I know y'all saw this over and over again I am sick of Atlanta hairstyles not being able to wash hair before they braid oh uh, y'all get on my nerves I don't care y'all truly get on my nerves I thought I was gonna go y'all be getting on my nerves because why can't you wash the hair that you're about to braid like, I got other stuff to do. Why do I need to wash and blow dry the hair, too? Now, our daughters are older, so they're learning how to work with their texture and wash and, you know, blow dry their hair, too. But that doesn't make, that's not the point. I don't care about that. That's not the point. The point is, I'm paying for a service, so I should be able to get full service. You're not telling me I'm paying this much money just for you to braid. That's not, that don't make no sense. You should not be just braiding if you're offering this service this money should be included with the wash and yeah it should be yeah it should be y'all be charging two something thousand dollars hopefully those insults come with uh washing like some people have like and i'm talking about tapings and i'm i'm not talking about tapings or nothing like that i'm talking about actual like braiding i have seen people pay a thousand dollars for braids i'm hoping that it came with a wash too because there's no way I'm not paying you thousand dollars go ahead please okay hey guys so today's friday no today's thursday actually i don't know what day i left this vlog off of probably yesterday but um so the craziest thing happened and um, we went to the dentist macy had her appointment immediately after her appointment she was like really lethargic and tired and I was like, okay, that doesn't seem like her. Um, usually she's like running around crazy. And we know our children, right? Like we can tell or we can sense just by looking at them like something's not right. So she fell asleep in the car on the way home from the dentist's office. And when we got home, she was so red. She was so red and she was burning up. I was like, oh no. So I took off all her clothes, took her temperature. It was like 105 and her heart was racing 
like her pulse was like do, 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 and her heart was like going so fast and so hard i was like so scared i know toddlers um heart rates are faster than ours but this was like abnormal my husband went to get our older daughter from her hair appointment i told you guys our daughter was at the salon so he went to go get her and then I stayed home. I tried to get Macy medicine. She wouldn't take it. Um, she just kept going in and out of consciousness. I, it was just so weird. She had no other symptoms but a fever and like her heart was racing. So I called 911. I was so scared and it's crazy because as parents, like you would think after 13 years, we would know what to do. But like still to this day, like I have no idea sometimes what to do. And I was so scared so the ambulance came and they took her temperature they took her heart rate and they immediately like started moving our furniture uh got her on the gurney like hooking her up and i just started bawling crying because that's a scary scary moment uh, when you call the ambulance sometimes they will try to you know assess the uh situation at home they'll try to like you know give you what you need calm me down or whatever but they wasted like no time and that what that's what scared me and they said like we're gonna get her to the hospital because if she's not taking her medicine we don't want her to start to seize like have a seizure and i was just like i fell apart like i decided to fall and crying you know just being a mom and uh i called my husband he pulled up like start <laughs> jumped in the uh ambulance with macy they rode down to the ambulance with the sirens on. It's just scary. Like seeing your child be carried away in a ambulance. It's just, it's just scary. And then them not knowing exactly what's going on. You not knowing exactly what's going on. It just came out of nowhere. I don't know. But she is doing okay now. Um, the doctor said that she may be fighting off some type of like flu, cold, virus or whatever but her body looks great, her body sounds great, nothing's congested, like nothing is congested, her ears look normal, it's not an ear infection. Ugh, I just, today's society is just so crazy because I feel like there's so much out there, especially that are like attacking little kids. Like it's just so much out there and school is so hard to keep clean because not every parent keeps their kid home when they're sick I don't care who you are, shame on you. Like, you could throw me any, every scenario. Still, shame on you for letting your kid go to school knowing that they're sick. Because while you think, oh, my kid's fine, they're not gonna do anything like they're a fighter, the other kids may not be. The other kids may have weak immune systems. Like, come on. If your kid is sick, keep them home. If they had a fever, keep them home for 24 hours without medication. So their fever could subside and then bring them to school. Like, don't just be like, well, they have meds and they fever went down. They go to school. No, let them stay home 24 hours without medication because they're still contagious. Anyways, um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff floating around. Y'all see the news. There's a lot of stuff floating around that's attacking little kids. And I, it's just so annoying because I, this is why I don't want my kids to go to school. <laughs> like, I just don't like it. So we're keeping her home today and tomorrow because she did have medicine this morning because her temperature was a little high. And um, yeah, like I said, her school says she has to be free of any medication for 24 hours before she can come back. So yeah, um, today's already Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. So she'll be back Monday. Um, for right now, she seems okay and um, the doctor says, like, you know, hopefully she doesn't get any other symptoms and, you know, she should be okay. Uh, fever, if she has a fever, it may last a few days, but other than that, she should be okay. Of course, if anything progresses, you know, take her back in. So that was the highlight of our day. We went from appointments, appointments to the ER all night and back home. We were exhausted. We were tired. We both had headaches. I was just not even here i was on a whole nother level sorry i keep touching my hair but i was on a whole nother level and i couldn't vlog for you guys i couldn't even upload for you guys so this video that you're watching is a sunday vlog i'm sorry but it's gonna be a sunday vlog because life is life life is lifing and i can't 
I can't do nothing about it. Okay, but I wanted to share with you guys a couple of Amazon packages that I've received. Um, this is the first one, since we're on the subject of children. I showed this on my Instagram, but I didn't show you guys on YouTube. Um, so this is a vitamin called Vitamin Friends. It's a Boost Appetite Vegan Gummy. Um, you guys can see everything that it's free of. I mean, literally everything. It's also autism um, approved, like all of this made in the USA, just everything. So this is orange flavor and this is the ingredients. So citron, sage, cinnamon, lemon, and vitamin C. Um, this is for a lot of the children out there who are picky eaters, are toddlers, are picky eaters. They don't mind taking fruit snacks or whatever. Give them this, you give them two gummies a day and this helps boost their appetite. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have been taking them too um, because like I told you guys before, I wanna gain my 10 pounds back that I lost during COVID last, last year. No, year before, 2021 I got COVID and I lost my 10 pounds and it has been a struggle to get that weight back. Um, so I have been taking these vitamins to boost my appetite because I'm not good with like drinks and I don't want to try like Appetin or whatever that stuff is called. Like I just want something natural. And I'm, I also plan on going back to the gym. I used to train like for a little bit back in the day, but I definitely want to get back into the gym. So these taste good. They're just, they literally taste like an orange gummy. The texture is different. However, it's not gonna taste like a fruit snack because it's vegan. I don't know if you guys have ever tried vegan gummies, but they have a different texture. But nonetheless, they do not taste bad at all. They just taste orange flavor. So I will link these down below. They are already linked in my Amazon home store. Make sure you check it out and try it for your children. It does work. Uh, I take one in the morning, especially because if you're not a breakfast person, I am a breakfast person, but if you're not, this will help you eat breakfast as well. So just try that. And then in this package, oh, these are small. Okay, so these are for my ladies. I ordered these Atlantic's, Atlantis Hormonal Balance Gummies. Um, so they're 60 gummies and it releases cramps, bloating, reduces mood function, it reduces mood fluctuations, hormone balance for women. I saw a lot of reviews on these um, because I was gonna get a just general woman's vitamin. And the only thing about that was I wanted something directly towards like PMS. So I have mild PMS. Um, it's just something that I have noticed about myself as I'm getting older. Um, I had it starting like I'm not going to lie, y'all. I, I blame a lot of stuff on COVID. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, my body and just things around me have changed since COVID. I don't know why, but prior to COVID, I was living a different life. But I feel like I was less paranoid about stuff and my body was different. Like, I was just eating anything and everything. Now I'm very, like, cautious of where I eat at or what I eat. Like just all the germs that just keep coming out of nowhere. I wasn't that like pressed about germs, you know? Like I've always had good hygiene, but I was never pressed about germs until I caught COVID and everything just changed. As well as my like PMS. Like I swear I didn't have PMS prior to COVID. I don't know why. But the symptoms that I get is like irritability, um, frustration, mood swings, lower back pain. Um, I do get some bloating, but not that much because I do drink my Olipop and stuff, so I don't get that much bloating. Um, and I don't get that much cramps either. So those two are kind of like minimal, but definitely the mood swings, definitely just like, I feel a hormonal balance. Like I could just feel my body shift, feel my attitude switch, like I can just, tell and i don't like that <laughs> so i heard really good things about these vitamins it says no more cramps bloating hot flashes or mood swings enjoy life like any other day 
And that's exactly what I want to do. Like, I hate that my cycle messes up my day. I don't know if you're like that, but it just, it just is annoying. Like, I don't want to be in a bad mood. I don't want things to just trigger me if I'm not on my cycle. Like, if I'm not on my cycle, certain things would be okay. But if I'm on my cycle, it'd be a big deal. So, yeah, we're going to try these. I've already been trying these. These are for your kids. Um, you could try them as well. And then these right here are the hormonal um, gummies. Hey, y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to grab. I'm trying to do too much, girl. Hey, guys. It is Friday. It's March 3rd. Y'all have this weird angle on my forehead, so. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we on our way to Pond City Market. I want to visit my crystal shop. I haven't been there in quite a while. And there are some things I need to get, so I need to go there. It is a very gloomy, rainy day. As y'all can see, it's like dark. It's very dark, very gloomy outside. It's rainy. I had this turtleneck on because... I don't know it's not that like warm outside but it's not cold like that either so I don't have a jacket on or nothing so I just put on this like very chill cute outfit I like my little outfit I look like a little librarian or something um anyway so I'll show y'all my outfit when I get out the car but I'm still eating my breakfast y'all I wanted to get out the house today because I just need a uh, fresh air like even though it's not the nicest outside, like today is not like really a nice day. I need to get out because, honey, you know, we've been in the house. Macy, you know, ever since Macy went to the hospital or whatever, we've been in the house. And I just need a couple hours just to go out somewhere. Just a couple of hours. I have a couple of things I need to get. I need to go to Target or Walmart or something one of those stores doesn't matter but i also need to go there too because i need to get a couple of things but yeah we're gonna go to pond city market real quick just to like like i said you go to crystal shop and just to get a breather because who i need one i didn't go to my yoga class this week y'all know when i miss yoga <laughs> your girl is just off balance uh that's all right because we're in there next week but yeah i just feel off balance today or this week has just been weird. Um, it's definitely something in the planet. Your girl feels it in her spirit. It is something in the planets. The universe is shifting. And so I just got to get through this shift. And then I'll be okay. But yeah, I definitely feel it. Okay, y'all. I'm here. There are so many people with parking tickets here. Um, let me make sure that... You can park here. Hold on, let me go get the let me go get the parking, y'all. I had to scan the oh why is it? I had to scan the parking, y'all. Can y'all see me? We're gonna pay for parking real quick. I had to scan the thing so that I can confirm my location. Pond City Market, yeah. By the hour and minute. Oh, for one hour is two dollars and sixty cents. So maybe I'll do I'll just do an hour. All right, my parking is paid for. And now let's get my bag. Do I need this? No. Because I have glasses. I have plenty of glasses. So I don't need it. But they have it 20% off. I don't need glasses. I love this table for me. Mm. 
about West Elm. It's just, I wanted a table like this, a dining room table, but it was like lighter than this. But I do like this color. I like this color a lot. I'm actually excited to change out the couch once we move because uh, the couch that we have now is like that big sectional. The kids grill me and like ask us why don't we have like a actual table but like y'all know we have that modular couch so it's kind of weird the way we have it set up to where we can't have like a uh, end table or living room table but I'm actually ready to just have like a two piece set instead of like this big modular sectional. I don't regret it, but like I want something different. All my real people, y'all should be singing this song because y'all know this song. It's my intro song. Y'all done left the Pond City Market. Um, it was a little hectic. It was starting to get a little hectic. And now I'm about to jump to Walmart because Macy said she wanted some Play Doh. And I need to get bread and cotton balls and just like little, little stuff like that. So we're gonna go to Walmart real quick. And then we're going home. Mm -mm. All right. Yes, I had this bonnet on. I was gonna go put on my wig, but I was like, no, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I don't feel like putting on my wig. I'm about to close this vlog out because this is like a compilation of like my entire week or so because I didn't post a vlog Thursday. So really I have footage for like an entire week. So this vlog should be long enough. It should be long enough because I have, like I said, footage from when I didn't post. But I came up here in my office because I'm about to organize like this section right here. Um, I'm going to show you guys in a minute, but it's really beautiful outside. Yesterday we had like a bad thunderstorm and you know, it gets that time of the year. Y'all know Atlanta, Atlanta be tripping with the tornado season. So it was a little, you know, stormy yesterday, but today it's like really, really nice outside. We were outside this morning. A majority of the morning I didn't film because we were washing the car uh, Macy was playing with her chalk because I got her some new chalk that's like our thing to do is play with chalk on the uh, you know driveway and stuff <laughs> excuse me she loves doing that so I got her some new chalk and that's what we were doing all day today and I was hot so I came in took a shower and literally still have my bonnet on and I don't feel like taking it off like I don't <laughs> I don't, so I apologize if you're offended by the bonnet, the bonnet, <laughs> the bonnet. I could have sworn that's how my husband pronounces it, but um, yeah, we rocking it right now. So let me try that. <sighs> okay, <clears throat> so oh lord. All right, so basically, I want to get rid of all of this. Um, I don't know where to put it, but I think I want to get rid of the, well, I want to organize these two shelves, but I'm going to start with this one because I just feel like this is the most like scattered, I guess. I don't know. But with this one right here, this is like my black section. Um, I'm going to get like the, what are those called? What are those called guys? those bag holders the, those bag holders that you can like hook your bags onto i'm gonna get those and i'm gonna put them in this section because i don't know if y'all can tell but these packs closet i know they're like pricey but these were a great investment like they they were a great investment um i'm not gonna lie <laughs> i really did i just love how like deep they go in I love how deep they go in so so yeah I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff because I feel like it's just random it really is it's random I have a watch the clips it's like and then this drawer has like all kind of stuff so this one I have like clothes and stuff I have old dust bags and leggings that I've never worn yet or like this whole red outfit that I've never worn yet so 
I do have that in here, but there's nothing in this last drawer. Like this last drawer is completely empty. And I think that's where I'm gonna put like a lot of this random stuff. Um, I have so many sunglasses I do not wear. So I'm just gonna like give those away or something. Cause I don't need half the stuff that's in this drawer. So I'm gonna start cleaning this out and then come back. All right, so here's the aftermath. I cleared out this whole entire space. I'm gonna get the bag. Um, what are those called? The bag holders? Let me show you real quick. These right here, I'm gonna get to put in this area. Then I wanna get these. These are actually velvet. I wanna get these for all of my sunglasses right here. So I wanna get these. They come in a two pack. So I'm gonna get those for this area. And so yeah, I cleared out mostly everything and then organized my shoes. This is like spring, summer, fall, winter. And yeah, I cannot wait. I just did a little decluttering. Can't wait to add more shoes. I'm gonna get some purple ones, orange ones, just to add. Cause I have like this new wardrobe that I have. So cute, fun, cute, and just sexy. <laughs> And so I want to get some heels to match. I look so crazy. But yeah, you guys, I'm about to close out the vlog. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I am so done with myself. Like, I literally am about to... I'm not playing around. It is March. I feel like this is the month for, like, abundance and just feeling unstuck. Like, a just a push, basically, for this month. Um, I don't know if you guys have felt like that, but I definitely have felt like that and I feel like this month is a month to definitely get pushed in your purpose so if you've been feeling stuck don't worry I feel like we were all we will all be unstuck soon for this month starting this month especially this vlog is gonna go up the first Sunday of March and so I plan on not missing any days for March I plan on being consistent like I always am and keeping up with my posting because I'm always like, not a vlog today, not a vlog today. And I'm just like, I just, you know, I do apologize, but I also feel like that was necessary because I was like in this stuck moment, I guess. I don't know. Um, but like I said, no regrets because even though I was stuck, I was also just healing and doing what I needed to do. But now that it's March, we back and we about to stick to this content creating thing because this is full time. This is what we do. So we need to stick to it. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy your week ahead of you. Thank you so much for sticking with me and watching my vlogs and being down with us. I love y'all always. If you have not already, please subscribe. If you like what you saw, click the red button and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, guys, I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. <laughs>